Okay, welcome to my Samsung repair repair this screen, the touch screen um, on the Samsung S3. So what's happening is the screen is not responding, but the rest of the buttons do work. You can see here uh, when I press the app, it doesn't work. Anything doesn't work. Uh, the only buttons that are respawn are the bottom one and then this guy. My volume button works. You can see. Uh, the power button works too. But the screen is just locked up or frozen. Um, if you try resetting it and removing the battery and doing like a factory reset and all that. Um, I tried that and that didn't work so. So what I did is I took it apart and what you want to do is you want to pull the cover from the back right here. You've got this clip here right off. It comes The back comes off. Um, and there are about 11, there are 11 uh, little, little tiny screws you can see around the edges here. You want to remove all of those. Um, with a little screwdriver like this, okay, can you see that? It's a tiny, tiny screwdriver. So what you want to do is you want to remove all, all, all of them. And um, hopefully you can see that from there, but there are 11, you know, like I mentioned. There are 11, and then what you want to do, there's a connector right underneath this guy that um, I believe is the sensor that senses for the screen. So what we're going to do is just going to remove all of these guys. Um, I bought the little, little screwdriver at, you know, you can get it at your Home Depot or at your local hardware store. So, I'll just be careful not to, not to lose any of the screws. So just one. Okay, there you go. Two. Oh no, I just lost it. Oh, there you go. So this is kind of consuming, but Just removing them, um, showing you. I'll show you once I remove them all how to remove the back cover. Okay, just be patient, and I'll show you. Okay, I got two more. Okay, so I'm just uh, 
removing the the rest of the screw the screws. Here's another one. Uh, we're almost done. There's one more. Okay. Okay. You can see this is the last one right here. Okay, I think I got all of them. Most of them are right around these edges here. And the interesting thing about this guy, there's a back cover here. And this part of the cover doesn't come off. There's another screws that are holding it underneath. But this whole part here will come off. Now you can, you can turn it off or you can just do like I do and just yank out the battery and it'll shut off the phone. And then down here you can either you know pull it up. This is where the power supply goes and just pull pull it up gently. And you can see this guy comes out. There you go. So this is the back cover. Um, the second back cover. So um, here you have your SIM card and then there's additional for your SIM card. Now this guy here is the connector um, and you can actually lift it right up like this and it just comes off. See if this guy comes loose occasionally you'll miss up the screen but you see this guy here you can flip it up like this right so what you want to do is reattach this guy and snap it right in make sure it's nice nice and snug and you'll hear like a snap kind of um, so then what you want to do is after you snap it back in you can test it out and see you put the battery back in and it goes like this and then you can power it up. That's my volume button. Okay. And then let's see. It's coming back up. Hopefully the screen will work. Um, usually my daughter will play with the phone and she will for some reason just drop it and stuff. So Let's see, it's powering back on, and hopefully that'll resolve the error, or the, the touch screen. So it's coming back up. Hopefully it'll work. If not, it's time to buy a new phone. Okay. So that works. That works. No. That works. Whoa. So you can see um I'm gonna get my messages, log out my apps I can scroll all over get all my apps so give that a shot if that doesn't work um, you know you got a you got either got a bad phone or if you dropped it in the water then that, then you got something else going on but but it works on on, on my side so. 
Uh, yeah, so let me show you again where I did. I basically just, you know, this adapter right here. You want to make you want to make sure it's nicely and secure. Now, if your camera is not working, you can try. There's another adapter right here, and make sure that's nice and snug if you're if you're having problems with your camera. So, hopefully, that uh, video is helpful and uh, and get you on your way so you can get back uh, to using your smartphone. So, as I as you can see, mine works now. So. Right. Best. Oh, and uh, the last thing is, of course, you're gonna put it back together. So you just simply put back the cover, right like this, and uh, snap it right in. It just snaps right in, and then just um, you know, put all the 11, 12 screws that it has all around the edges and secure it back. And let's see. So once you put all the things back and you should be good to go, hopefully this helps.